How you going? Welcome to JCR. This is uh, where we do all the work. It started in uh, 2013, started the team, and uh, it's just been evolving since then. I built the workshop when I was still racing, when I was up in Europe actually, and um, not really sure what I was going to do and why I built the workshop, but it's uh, obviously evolved into what JCR is now. Um, this is the main part of the workshop where we do most of the work. Um, we've got a bit of an office area here where we work on uh, bits and pieces, um, all, the, all the parts and do the parts ordering, etc. Um, behind that we have a parts wash, we've got some suspension in there at the moment. And uh, yeah, uh, this, this here actually is one of the main things that, uh, one of the main things that um, we use. This is an electronic watering system. We've got 120 sprinklers on the motocross track. It also does the supercross track, and uh, it also does the lawns, so uh, quite important. It was quite a big investment, but uh, really important down here in Nelson. It's quite dry over the summer, so uh, we need it. Got the uh, bike lift bench. If you don't use too much, you know, you just store stuff on. Um, all the cupboards are just filled with parts. Mostly with parts we're working on at the time. The bench has bits and pieces on there, stuff I'm sending out to riders. And, Stuff's coming in and going out all the time. We uh, unpack every morning with orders and then uh, ship parts out to the practice bikes, etc. This bike here is Jay Wilson's race bike for Wood Hollow Nationals. Uh, we got it a few weeks ago. It's been uh, in a build up process. Hoping to finish it up today and run the bike up in a few days' time, uh, ready for Woodville. So he'll race this at Woodville and Nationals. And uh, got a few bits and pieces here that um, he's, that'll go on his bike. Um, Outside here is the practice bike area, so uh, and the dog hangout. So Jay's practice bike in between motos at the moment, quite dirty, and obviously the TDR that we go out and uh, have a look around the track. Track on, got a toolbox area, and then the wash bays around the corner, and then you just head out straight onto the track. Um, we set up a table out here when we're doing testing and, and work through stuff. Um, we were planning to to ride this morning, but it's raining at the moment, so uh, yeah. That's the practice bike area. Come through. Got a gear washing area. Smoker room where stuff's everywhere at the moment, but smoker room, shower and a toilet through there. This is the riders area. So uh, each rider has a locker. Courtney's got a bit of stuff in there uh, that I think she's forgotten about. Um, I've got some riding gear and Courtney stuff, my stuff, bit of a mess. Um, and then yeah, Jay Wilson's got one at the moment. And when riders come and stay for a longer period of time, they grab a locker. And uh, sometimes when we run camps, this is the accommodation room. So uh, I used to have a gym set up in here when I was still racing in Australia, but now it's, um, we set up those beds and riders come and camp here and we, we do boot camps for Blue Crew and uh, for other riders. Try to do a few a year, uh, not so much staying on site anymore, I'm a little bit too busy for that, so more so just come in and go out, and as you can see, got some shirts from different people, and a lot of my stuff, and road racing suit right here, never actually used it, not sure it would still fit me, but um, if we ever want to go road racing, thanks to Alphine Stars, I'm ready to go. Come through to the, let's say, uh, where most of, the, most of the work gets done, the main part of the shed where the truck stays. Uh, got a tie changing area here. Sam's working on some wheels for the Australian riders, the Woodville. Got a fuel area down in the corner, uh, wheel racks. So um, most of the wheels are in the truck ready to go, but this is uh, where we work on the, on the wheels. Make sure we've got black, a black trolley and a blue trolley. Um, got a wee bit of an engineering area down here. All the stuff at the moment, getting ready to load up for Woodville. All the farm stuff, uh, battery charges and uh, presses and uh, drill presses, etc. In that area, this area here was built um, for Japan. Uh, they used to send riders out here uh, for training, pre-season training, and we were struggling for room in our main area, so we start. We built this area here. As you can see, it's quite full at the moment. We've got a lot coming up, it's about to get super busy, so I've got my, my Super Motar bike for Leadfoot Festival, Maddie Brown's Woodville bike, Bailey Makowitz, I'm not sure how to say his name, his bike, 
uh, my new 2018 450 which is about to get sent to Farm Jam for a guy Hill to, to flip. So uh, brand new, he's gonna ride it before me. Uh, I've got a dyno area uh, where we run up the bikes, more so running in and not so much for tuning, really just for running in and if we have an electrical issue or um, making sure that if we've done work on the bike it's producing the same amount of power, etc. Uh, truck, really handy to have that inside for rainy days, etc. so we can get in and out and work on it. Um, if you come down here we've got our parts room. Uh, we start off all our spares kits, so these are current bikes we have in stock, frame number on there and the year of the bike, what it's got to do, etc. Um, this is our engine area, so spares parts 250, 450 old 450, 450 2018, 125, and we have some frame parts up here, beach racing parts for Burt Munro, suspension springs, 20 air area. Up here we have older stuff, so 2013. YZ250F when it before it changed to the current model, hand guards, uh, seats, and uh, bash plates and bits and pieces for older model. I said 20 area filters, cages, etc. Some suspension down here. Work array around to seats, foams, seat covers, small seats, high seats, medium seats, stock seats, bump seats. We got it all. Uh, stickers. Toolbox stickers, stand stickers, helmet stickers, graphics, numbers, truck stickers. Uh, thanks to Workshop Graphics, it's all in stock. Plastics, the original Cycra, FX radiator shrouds, bigger ones. We were running white mud guards for a while. Come on to our second hand plastics. Uh, fork parts, suspension parts for seal kits, um, shock kits, bearing kits, SKF seals, clutch kits, triple clamps, uh, extrig, and we've also got uh, flywheels, production ones, heads, production heads, blue plastics, blue radiator shrouds from uh, Artec, Vortex ECU, fuel pumps, Samco radiator hoses, spear radiators, carbon parts, and chain guides, plastics, etc. Uh, front brake lines, Brake parts, whole shot buttons, discs, hour meters, pistons, clutch kits, clutch parts, GYTR clutch parts, plastics, all new plastics up here, and production pipes and Akrapovich pipes. Second hand tyres, so ones that aren't too bad that we can use in training. Most of the time it ends up being me that uses them. Then we come around to new tyres, so Pirelli for our riders. Mostly mid soft and sand tyres, uh, 25, 250, 450, but mostly just 250, 450 tubes. Bridgestone tyres for when team can come, black rims for previous Model YZ, Dunlop tyres and production Bridgestone tyres, so factory Dunlops for CDR riders and production tyres for bikes that come in and now uh, get sold. All our Yamaloo product, all our CRC product. DID chains, rental handlebars, rental sprockets, muffler packing and old mufflers. Um, and then we start to come to the truck stuff. So easy ups, stands, posters, poster holders, leftover mats, trolleys. This trolley here goes in the truck, it's full with all our awning stuff. And then we come to some bikes, uh, friends bikes, my bike that's sold, trials bikes, couple, one of them's out at the moment and uh, my street bike, which I don't really ride. Uh, over here, we have boxes, rags, uh, for when we're sending stuff out. On the tailgate, there's bits and pieces ready to load the truck up for the next race. So I tend to put it on there and then we load it all at once. Um, different bits and pieces. And that's it. Uh, without going outside because it's raining, that's a run through of the workshop at JCR. Uh, a lot of work, a lot of stuff. Uh, thanks to Yamaha and all our sponsors, we can make it work and um, spend a lot of time down here. I love coming down here. I love coming down here after hours. Just me uh, walking around, thinking about product, making notes, what we need, what we can improve on, what can be better. Um, always trying to look to improve, obviously. 
for New Zealand, so uh, we're a reasonably small market, so we're, we're already quite big, but um, just want to try to run a, a good, clean ship and um, make sure we've got everything we need to get the job done, not only for winning, but also for our riders to train and perform and be better to try and uh, achieve their goals and also do it as, as economically as we can for Yamaha. Thank you.